<laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? What next? Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> All right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. All right, here we go. Guys, uh, do me a favor and share your strategies on how you defeat this battle. I would love to see what you guys do in the comments below. So my strategies are like a get in and get out, right? He has a certain amount of moves. He's going to keep on continuing to use them. And it's just to get in, get out. As you can see there, sometimes you can't get him. He'll still hit you around. It doesn't matter if you're around a corner and he's not. He will still literally hit you. It's so amazing how that happens. You just got to get in there really quick to get those three hit combos. Sometimes they don't to work. You guys and sometimes you'll do a combo and it won't even work. Even though it should. Away. So we're not doing too good. This is probably the tough, in my opinion, this is the um, part of the This is probably the toughest part of the battle. But once you get them low enough. Oh, I thought I was outside of his. But I wasn't. Alright, we got it. That's good, Snake. Snake, hurry up and catch me. The first one's free, he'll tell you where he's going. There's only a few spots that he goes. And you just kind of have to listen to the sound, and that's how you know. Don't get too close to him as well. So we know he's over here. Again, the only reason I know that is because you can see which way which way he goes in when he exits. Only stays there for a few seconds. Thanks. This battle, you actually want to get out uh, just any weapon. I guess the Nikita will do the most damage. But, uh... It's just because you hit a little bit harder, I guess, really. As you can see. And you still you still get a hit. Doesn't matter what you do, even if you're facing a different direction, you'll still get a hit in. That's it. I remember that punch. One more hit, we got it. 
always be at least four arms away. Here we go. Zanzibar. is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again, I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not, but maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? 
No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm, are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Did the terrorists launch that thing? No. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? 
He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours? You'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. 
Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Congratulations, we're going to go ahead and take that away. We're going to get out our chaff grenades here because even though I don't think you get caught, I still prefer to be, uh, to be safe. Sometimes there's a little bit of a... Problem there. We don't want to be seen by this camera, so that's why I do it. Again, I don't even know if that will if that actually works. But I do it anyways just because it makes sense. You don't want to be seen by any camera, right? Get to the elevator, patent it. Get four times and it's automatically there. You want to go to level B1. She's going to be on the right when, or on the left when you come in, so just quickly head down there or else you'll be seen by the other guy. And there you go. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <laughs> Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. Truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you?
I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. 
It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Ugh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay?